How's it going y'all? My name is Eric and welcome to a special video. When I first started on YouTube many, many years ago, I was most known for die cast stop motion races. Every year I'd buy up a whole fleet of 164 scale car, well this is a truck, 164 scale cars just like this one and I would push them around in circles, take a lot of photos and animate them into stop motion videos. And that's what people knew me for for a very, very long time. Those were a ton of fun to make, but as a result, I've collected a ton of 164 scale NASCAR die cast cars over the years, as well as many 124 scale cars and several sizes in between as a matter of fact and so recently i was digging through boxes digging through some very very old boxes and i came across my entire nascar die cast collection so i figured at long last i would share that collection with all of you so today we're gonna look through my entire nascar die cast collection we'll see if there are any surprises expect a lot of Matt Kenseth cars. There are quite a few. I'm just, just preparing you now. Starting off with the cars you see before me, these are some of the cars I bought last year in 2020. Many of these have appeared in the recent Downhill Diecast Championship videos you hopefully have gotten a chance to see. That's right, I've been dabbling in some Diecast car related content once again, but these are some of the 2020, I think most of these are all 2020 paint schemes you see here. Some of my favorites, I love this Denny Hamlin Daytona 500 win car. I was messing with this car for a video and you can see now the name on the windshield is a bit smudged off. That, that, that was my my fault. I did that. I've also got Jimmy Johnson's final NASCAR scheme. Well, he ran a silver version of this scheme in his final actual race, but this is the scheme he started the year with. I really liked his 2020 ally scheme much better than his 2019. Really nice design. I picked up a couple of trucks this year from the NASCAR Authentics wave. A couple drivers that I really like. A couple paint schemes I really like. First up, we have Chase Elliott's Hooters truck. And then we've also got Ross Chastain's uh, watermelon truck. This is a pretty cool one. I love the watermelons in the uh, in the bed of the truck there. That's just a nice detail. I love that one. Lionel Racing actually sent me a few of these diecast cars for that downhill diecast championship series. So this is straight from the source. These are pretty freaking cool. Some of these I bought myself, like this Kyle Busch Interstate Batteries car. I bought this early in the year at Auto Club Speedway because I love the new internet Interstate Batteries colors. But yeah, pretty stout group of cars right here. Let's move on to some other cars I bought recently. I picked these up at the store recently, so they're still in the package, but another 2020 car is Matt Kenseth's McDonald's scheme. Had to get it. He's my guy. I love this car. Also, uh, Clint Boyer. I picked this one up recently as well because I also just love this paint scheme. This is the plain Ford colors, but it works. I also got this Clint Boyer car recently. Uh, farmers, for the farmers car. I, I don't really know why. I just, I got it. I usually take the NASCAR Authentics cars out of the packaging. Like a lot of the ones I showed you a moment ago were NASCAR Authentics that I ripped out of the packaging. But I do really like the packaging. And I understand why a lot of people like to display them still with the packaging. And like the, the hood or the magnet or the sticker, whatever it comes with. Because this does look pretty good. I don't know, I'm old school. I like to, I, when I'm still sitting at my desk in between like editing videos, I'll still just like mess with the cars. I'll spin them around, I'll roll them back. I'm like a child, I, I swear. All right, next I've got this random box. I think this one's just full of miscellaneous cars that I ran out of space to put in other boxes. So we're gonna see what's in here. Oh yeah, I forgot, I bought this recently, Mark Martin. This is a uh, Mark Martin Ford Thunderbird. This is a 143rd scale car. You don't see those very often. You don't see those anymore. Holy moly, I got a bunch of random crap in here. This is, all right, let's, let's go through some of this. I'll, I'll, I'll pick out my favorites. Oh, I forgot about this. I have an Elliott Sadler car. Funny story behind this car. I don't remember what grade I was in, but I must've been in like second or third grade, but I found this car as I was getting off the school bus one day, like I was the last stop on the bus route and I, I was walking down the aisles of the seats and I saw just this car, Elliott Sadler sticking out of the cushions. Now I was an honest kid. So I went up to the bus driver and said, hey, somebody lost their Elliott Sadler car. You know, I'm sure there's a passionate Elliott Sadler fan out there who's going to be missing this. And I, I was trying to turn it in. He was like, nah, man, keep it. I don't get the bus driver. I was the last stop of the day. This Elliott Sadler fan was out of luck. So I took it and I still have it to this day. Elliott Sadler, m and m scheme. This is pretty cool. Got an old Jeff Gordon car of tomorrow. Look at this with the flames on it. That is a look with the wing. Ooh, I don't, I don't have many of those. Oh my gosh, is this a Scott Wimmer car? It is a Scott Wimmer car, right? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even know I had, I mean, I guess I forgot I had this. So much in here. All right, Matt Kenseth, final ride. I, I can't believe I have this buried in a box. This should be framed somewhere. Gosh, that is gorgeous. What else do we have? We have a Dale Jr. Uh, old Bush Series KFC car, the 81. Look at that. Get that up close on the, on the good camera. Look at that. Oh, focus for me, focus for me. Focus on the fried chicken. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the Colonel. Goodness me, so much in here. Alex Bowman's uh, nationwide scheme from a couple of years back. Chase Elliott patriotic scheme. Uh, you guys, I'm just blowing through these. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I got, I got, where's the other one of these? This is a set. Okay, okay. So I used to have a P.O. box. I haven't had one in a couple of years. Hopefully someday soon I'll be able to open up another one because I'd love to see what you guys send me now in uh, the new year. But a couple of years back at the end of 2018, I did my usual, you know, top 10 favorite paint schemes of the year and top 10 least favorite paint schemes. My favorite scheme of the year was Martin Truex Jr.'s auto owner scheme, this beautiful 
bright baby blue paint scheme. So I had someone make a custom version of this car with the green Monster Energy playoff banners and everything. But then in my top 10 least favorite paint schemes video, I singled out this Timmy Hill. I think this was Timmy Hill, right? Abomination. This was my least favorite paint scheme of 2018. So he also made a custom of this and sent it to me. So that was a pretty hilarious package when he sent me my least favorite and my favorite schemes of 2018. I've kept these die casts because they actually are really good for custom made cars. They're very nicely made. So uh, again, thank I wish I could remember the guy's name. I might have like his letter package somewhere, honestly, but I appreciate it. all these years. It's been like two years. All this time later, there are way too many cars in here to focus on every single one. I got this Matt Kenseth Wild Bush Series car from like 2006. Well, I mean, it's memorable, but oh, it's kind of gross. Mark Martin Viagra. Oh, this thing's dinged up, man. I was playing with this a lot as a kid. That's right. I was that little seven-year-old with a, the Viagra toy. Yeah, heck yeah. What year has this been? 2004, 2005, I think? Something like that. Yeah, it's pretty nicked up around like the name rails and stuff. I would just like slam my toy cars into uh, into the walls and stuff when I was like seven, eight years old. I had no no shame, no fear. This box, man, another Kevin Harvick car. I should have this labeled because I don't remember what years all these are from. This must be a 2016 Hamlin. That looks like the scheme he won the uh, Daytona 500 with that year. Oh, here we go. This is a cursed one. Kyle Larson DC Solar. I didn't even know I had a Kyle Larson DC Solar. Where did I get this? I don't remember particularly liking this paint scheme or anything. And I wasn't like a big Kyle Larson fan. So I don't know. I don't know where that one came from. I had some fans send me some like track specific die cast cars. You know how like a lot of tracks will give out or you know they'll sell them with like the race programs. They'll sell their own die cast cars that have like the track logo. This one's uh Dover, the monster uh monster mile. It's still in the box, but when you all sent me that, I got a few of those that people sent me over the years. Some Daniel Suarez cars. Oh, this is from 2020. I missed this one. This is Noah Gregson's Lionel scheme that actually Lionel sent me. Really cool of them. Get that in there. Gosh, I'm running out of room on this table. Get get that in there. He ran this at the uh that rain race this year. Pretty cool looking paint scheme, Lionel, official. Oh my goodness, y'all can't see the whole table, but it is an absolute mess. Ryan Blaney, neon yellow 12, but he never actually, I don't think he ever ran this actual paint scheme in the race. They switched up the color of the uh, numbers and stuff before I think it actually hit the track. I don't think we ever saw the red numbers on the side on the roof. I think they changed the color before it ever hit the track. I may be wrong about that, but I feel like we never saw that paint scheme in its full glory. Oh yes, check this out. I bought this at the Dr. Pepper Museum in Waco, Texas. Yes, that's cool. Okay, I think I've dug through pretty much everything. Oh, we got this keychain though. Matt Kenseth uh, 2014 keychain. Does this count? I'm gonna count this because the wheels actually do rotate. So I'm gonna count this keychain as a uh, as a diecast car. I don't know what scale this would be. Like one, this is one of those like micro ones, like 183rd scale or 87th scale, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm gonna count this. I should have this on my car keys. That would be actually pretty cool. All right, I've emptied this entire box. Let's, yeah, th th this is a lot of cars. I wish I could go through each and every single one of these and talk about them, but there's a lot and we still have many more boxes to go. All right, that mystery box. I'm gonna call that the mystery box because I need to organize these better. I need to sort through these a little bit more, but there you go. I have an army of miscellaneous NASCAR. I mean, look, I got like a Dale Jr. car from the Bush series next to a Matt Kenseth car from the Bush series next to like the car Austin Dillon won the Daytona 500 with, I'm pretty sure. Got a Suarez car back here, the cursed DC Solar, Dr. Pepper over here. I got a Natalie Decker Arca car. I, it, it's a Chase Elliott test car. Nationwide series. I, I, it's, it's all. Anyway, it's, an, it's an absolute cluster back here, but yeah, pretty cool. Fun collection. All right, I only own two 164 scale haulers. You see here, Matt Kenseth, 2017 final ride. It looks fantastic. This one I do often take out of the box. Oh gosh, oh geez, oh gosh. I, I, this is one I usually do take out of the box. Not a NASCAR die cast, but it's similar. It's made by Lionel and it looks fantastic. Beep, beep, coming through your shot. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's really neat. I like that a lot. And then we've got a 2002 Jimmy Johnson. Not only is it the hauler, but you can see there's also his rookie car, his 164th scale version of his rookie car in this set. Funny story behind how I got this, which I've not taken out of the box. I've owned it for like two years now. I got this at some auction in Austin. I was in school. There's some event. There was a private auction. They're auctioning off a lot of random sports memorabilia. Most of it was like signed football jerseys, basketball jerseys. But then I saw this and it wasn't signed or anything, but I was like, there's a NASCAR thing here. So I bid on it. I was probably like the youngest person there. It was mostly like wealthy, like foreign business people. I don't know why I was there quite honestly, but it was even more surprising to see a Jimmy Johnson rookie hauler set thing there. So I bid on it. I don't remember how much I bid. I got away with like 30 bucks or something for it, which probably a good deal uh, for what it is. I have no idea, but a uh, funny story behind that one. This looks really cool. I, I, I don't know. Should I take it out of the box or is that like devalue? I mean, it probably does, but I don't really care about keeping things in the box. I just think the packaging looks cool. So I haven't taken it out yet, but these are the only two haulers I own. 
phone, but figured I'd show those as well. All right, next I have this little travel case. So I've been packing some things up recently and I packed some of my favorite 164 scale cars into this little case. So let's look through these as well. It's like dealer no deal. We're gonna open the case, see if it's a million dollars. Oh, it might as well be. First thing I see, Matt Kenseth uh, championship car from 2003. I mean, it's not like any sort of special championship edition or anything, but I got this. It's like a Hot Wheels brand car, I believe. I got this actually only a couple of years ago. I'm a big Matt Kenseth fan, but I didn't own a 164 scale version of his 2003 car until recently. So I had to get this. Looks fantastic. Love the DeWalt paint schemes, but if you've watched my videos for any length of time, you know I love anything and everything DeWalt. They make the best paint schemes in the Cup Series. So there's a few other DeWalt cars in here. Uh, my friend Jarrett, you may know him as the Iceberg on YouTube, got me this recently, or got me this last year, actually. It was a Matt Kenseth 1999, or actually, this might be 19, no, it was 1999 Bush Series car when he drove for Riser Enterprises. Look, it's a Chevy. Up until 2020, when he ran Chevys for Chip Ganassi, Matt Kenseth had never run a Chevy in the NASCAR Cup Series. He did, however, run Chevy when he drove for Riser Enterprises back in some of his Xfinity Series days. So uh, this is a pretty cool paint scheme and a really cool car because it's one of those 164 scale cars where the hood opens and everything like that. Like you don't see that very often these days in, on 164 scale cars today. So I like this one a lot. Thanks again, Jarrett. I know I don't know if you're watching this, Jarrett, but I see you like every day. Uh, thank you for that again. This is really cool. It's in my special box. The one and only Dale Earnhardt die cast I have is this one right here. Good old Dale Earnhardt Chevy Lumina. I actually bought this for a video I made a couple of years back about NASCAR and Star Wars. If you've seen it, you've seen it. You know what I'm talking about. I needed a Dale Earnhardt die cast. And so I finally decided to get one. I don't know what kept me from getting one for so long. I mean, I didn't grow up watching Dale Earnhardt race. I don't have the same sentimental attachment to the three that many other fans have, but this is a really cool die cast. I'm happy I have it in my collection. It looks so sharp, so uh, I, I love it. Also in this box, my favorite current scheme, or one of my favorite current schemes, the Sunny D car that uh, Ricky Stenhouse made famous, Chris Buescher now drives. Uh, this thing is fantastic. It looks absolutely amazing. This is actually also, I think, a 2020 car. Yeah, it is, so I got this one recently. This is one, uh, a NASCAR Authentics that I bought as well this year. Another custom car that one of y'all sent me a couple years ago is this Ryan Blaney gold car. I, I mean, I don't really understand it, but it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's really, really well made. So I, I've kept it around because it just, it just seems unique. It seems special. Also got the Dale Earnhardt Jr. final ride car and I've got Chase Elliott. It's not the race win edition, but it's the same paint scheme. He got his first ever cup series win in that Sun Energy car. It's it's a weird paint scheme. I kind of like it, but it is a, uh, it's a bit weird. It looks like an asteroid hurtling down to earth the way the front end is designed. Uh, and you got Dale Jr.'s, uh, of course, the 88 car throwback to his rookie scheme as well. Do I have, where's my uh, Matt Kenseth final ride? I don't have, they already put it back in that box, the pit of despair. I was going to get them out and put them side by side, but we've seen that before. Anyway, lots of random ones in this box. You also got the Texas Motor Speedway Dickies 500 car from 2005. That's the first ever race I attended in person. So there's the uh, souvenir car that came with the race program. But yeah, a lot of really cool paint schemes in my little special box that I'm making sure I take with me wherever I go. All right, now some of these cars are very, very old. This Hot Wheels case I got, I don't know, I was probably five years old. I used this for a long time as a kid to carry Hot Wheels cars, like between my parents' house and like grandma's house for the weekend or something. I don't know what year, but then I decided to fill this instead with old NASCAR die casts that have been severely dinged up in some cases. Look at this. This is my favorite Matt Kenseth paint scheme ever. His 2005 car. Look at the front of that thing. It is so dinged up. What was I doing? I was like seven years old. I, I must have been just eating these cars, just chewing on them or something to pass the time. Some of these things are absolutely decimated. Some are in better shape than others. Kevin Harvick, Powerade car. That's kind of cool. I, I, it looks okay to me. A lot of old Matt Kenseth cars in here. Carhartt. Oh, some more. Oh, I got some Car Tomorrow cars in here. Oh, I don't know what kind of condition they're in, but here we got like a couple of Joe Gibbs teammates. You got Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin with the wing. What else we got? Oh my God. I forgot what I did to these things. So a long time ago, I did a video and I needed some cars to look like they were like undead, like zombified. And so I, oh my gosh. So I... I painted some of these cars and actually destroyed some of these cars. Intent. Look at what I did to Bobby Labonte. Oh, look at the windshield is destroyed. There's supposed to be blood all over the car. Like it looks like this things come from a, a crime scene. Oh gosh. I needed them for the video. It was for the video. The video has like hundreds of thousands of views, so it was worth it. But goodness gracious, these some of these cars I did not treat very. Any other good ones I have here? Oh, Kyle Busch. Is this from 2005? Oh, this one's kind of dinged up as well. But old Kyle Busch, I think that's his rookie car. Either way. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Let's see, we've got a Clint Boyer Bush Series car. That looks really, really cool. We've got Scott Riggs, Herbie Fully Loaded number 10. Look at that. That's cool. That That's fun. Jeremy Mayfield. Here we go. I think this is the only Jeremy Mayfield car I have. Yeah. Every kid's favorite driver, Jeremy Mayfield. Shoot, what else do I have? I thought I used to have a Ryan Newman Altel 
car, but I thought it was in here. It doesn't seem to be in here. I've got, I've got whatever this is. I'm pretty sure I got this out of a cereal box. I used to eat a lot of Lucky Charms as a kid. I don't, I don't think that was ever actually run in a race. Yeah. So many of these were the cars I grew up playing with as a little kid. My first couple of years of being a NASCAR fan. Yeah, some of them have seen better days. Yeah, the, the ones at the back. Those were, those were demolished uh, for the sake of art. You know, in the in the name of creativity. It was a creative decision. Goodness gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's 2016. Well, who's in here? Let's see. Ooh, that's right. I had a Denny Hamlin FedEx office. I kind of missed the days when they'd run different colored FedEx schemes. You'd have the orange one, the red one, the blue one. I really like this blue Denny Hamlin scheme. Let me zoom in on that a little bit better. I like that a lot. That's super duper nice. Dylan Hart Jr. with his uh, blue and silver nationwide colors. That's pretty cool. Yeah, all, pretty much all these are still. No, no, no. Okay, here we go. Oh, geez. A bunch of these are not in the box, actually. Brad Keselowski. Oh, a Cheerios Austin Dillon. Ah, yes. There we go. The Bumblebee looking car. That's cool. Ah, here we go. A Chase Elliott rookie scheme, if you will. 2016 Napa 24. Fantastic. Still in the box. I've used it a lot, but still in the box. Oh, mint condition worth millions. How much do diecast cars go for? Do NASCAR diecast cars like sell like crazy? Like do cars like a Chase Elliott rookie car, is this actually worth like 50 bucks? Like, I don't think it is. I think it's worth like five, but like, I don't know. How do, how do people like price NASCAR diecast. Is that a thing? I'm sure it is. I ha it has to be. Oh, speaking of cursed paint schemes, Danica Patrick, Nature's Bakery. Uh, yeah, that whole debacle. They had when you know, the Stuart Haas Racing sued Nation, uh, Nature's Bakery for backing out of their contract early. That was, I think that happened in 2017. So this was a precursor to that. All right, some of these cars are in here. Like this Clint Boyer car is not a 2016. This is a 2013, I'm pretty sure. This is this is a, got some spin gate written all over it. <laughs> so, sorry to bring up old bad memories. Not the best Batman scheme Junior ran. Or the Dark Knight Rise, the scheme actually found victory lane a few years earlier, but uh, a bunch of other cars. This Is this a 2016? Kurt Busch as well. All right, 2016 cars. Well, minus that Clint Boyer. I think the rest of these are 2016. I'm not certain. Some of them still in the boxes. I'm not taking all of them out of the boxes. But yeah, pretty good mix. Yeah, you got Tony Stewart in there. Carl Edwards. This was his final season in the Cup Series. Got a couple Carl Edwards schemes right there. Jimmy Johnson won the championship. Uh, this was, I believe, the car he started the year with. They changed up the scheme a little bit by the end of the season. He had some neon yellow back on it. But there you go. Okay, goodness, I got a little out of order here. This is the 2017 box now, and I don't know what happened, but I just decided to stop organizing things, apparently, because half of these are not 2017 cars. Like this Ricky Craven Pontiac. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> a little off. What happened here? Got some old Jimmy Johnson cars. I've got Dale Earnhardt Jr. from, I don't know what year this Die Mountain Dew scheme was, 2011, 2012? I mean, uh, judging by the car body, it has to have been one of those years. I don't remember. I do have some 2017 cars in here, like Martin Truex Jr. This was, uh, the, I don't know if this is the exact paint scheme but this was you know the year he won the championship with furniture row so i do have some 2017s mixed in here i'm not entirely crazy i've got black and blue jimmy johnson's that's pretty cool i like these schemes quite a bit oh gosh was this brad keselowski over here yeah, brad Kes was this from 2012 was this his championship year or was this 2011 i'm not sure but i've got that in here i, I this is just another wild card box. What, what is wrong with me? Why do I not, why do I not organize things? More random Matt Kenseth cars, RL carriers from like 2006, Best Buy from 2012. I do like this Best Buy car quite a bit. Also got his uh, throwback scheme. I think this is from 2017 or no, this is 2016. Throwback, um, tied throwback to like Daryl Walter, Ricky Rudd. Ricky Craven, all those good boys. Oh yeah, I've got a Dale Earnhardt Jr. here. It does not say Budweiser, but it says Dale Earnhardt Jr. on it. That's... <laughs> Oh, we love to see that. Anyway, this is the 2017 batch. Take a good look at it as I fly over the crowd here. This this, this isn't, uh, most of these are not even 2017s. I don't know what, what happened here. What is wrong with me? Okay, I think I figured out the problem. My 2015 box is like empty. It had just these three cars in it. Like, okay. So I think I know what happened here. I, I'm gonna need to go back and reorganize a lot of these boxes. Most all of my 2014 cars are in boxes. So let's take a look at a few of these. Oh, I really like that Carl Edwards Subway car. Kyle Busch, the white interstate batteries. That was a nice change. Joey Logano with the uh, AAA, Larson Target, a couple outside the box, Kyle Busch and a, I think that was Casey Mears. Yeah, Casey Mears back in the day. You got some others, KFC, David Reagan, uh, Budweiser, Kevin Harvick. That was still a thing. Yeah. All right, now in 2013, I absolutely pigged out on Diecast. This is the 2013 box. I remember how excited, how stoked I was to get my first Gen 6 car. You know, 
I never liked the look of the non-wing car tomorrow. I didn't really like the wing car tomorrow either, but I definitely did not like the look of the 2010, 2011, 2012 Cup Series cars. They looked boxy. I just did not like them. They raced pretty well for the most part, but I did not like the way they looked. So when the Gen 6 came out and they looked so much sleeker, I was stoked to get these die casts for the first time. And I went a bit off. This is also when my YouTube channel was first starting to grow. So I was making investments because I want to have all these cars and videos and stuff as well. So I have a good amount of 2013 cars to look at. Again, many of them are in boxes. Matt Kenseth had a career year, seven wins in his first year with JGR. These were the two paint schemes he ran the majority of the season. I think, was this the last year of the Blue Miller light schemes? Did they go to the white scheme after this? If so, yeah, I missed I missed this look. I missed these cars quite a bit. Jimmy Johnson won the championship this year. I have a couple of his cars right here still in the box. Denny Hamlin, FedEx right here. Yeah, it's... This is all of them. It's uh, there's a lot, a lot of cars, a lot, a lot of good looking cars. If I, if you ask me. All right, we're getting close to the end of my 164 scale collection. Let's. Let's see what we got here in the uh, 2011 and 2012 box. This was the first year I started doing YouTube. I think we've seen a lot of these already because I think they got mixed into other boxes. Oh no, we got a few in here. We have some that we haven't looked at yet. Oh, look at this Eric Almarola. I gotta take this one out of the box. These STP colors look so good. Ah, these boxes are so annoying. Here we go. Oh, that's so nice. Take a look at that. I forgot I had this car. Where is it centered on the camera? There we go. Yeah, that's so nice. That's beautiful. Ooh, Casey Kane with the Quaker State colors. I forgot about this paint scheme. That's that's a nifty one as well. I love the green. Oh, here we go. Ah, yes. Saved one of the best for last. Dale Earnhardt Jr. I loved some of his amp energy schemes, but this is the one that, uh, in my opinion, took the cake. Look at this. I just love like the sound waves on the side. Like it just it's such a good looking paint scheme. Yeah, this. That's one of my favorite. This may not. This may be my favorite Dale Earnhardt Jr. paint scheme of all time. Not gonna lie. Oh, I forgot about this horrifying paint scheme. I can't believe this actually made it onto a racetrack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kroger, Kroger, Kroger. What are you doing? What were you thinking? What is this? What is this car? <laughs> Compare this to what they run today with JTG Doherty. Kroger has come a long, long way since they got into NASCAR. Wow, that is a paint scheme right there. My goodness. Mark Martin 55. I've had a couple of these actually, but this is I think the first one I've shown. Yeah, there you go. Good look at the Aaron's Dream Machine. Here you go. Yeah, many of them I still have in the box. I mean, they've been out of the box before, but I'm just too lazy to take them out now. You could get Danica Patrick. This was her first run in the NASCAR Cup Series on a part-time basis. These are the ones I got outside the box. A pretty good year for paint schemes, though. I think most of these are a 2012. Um, not many of them are, are a 2011. I think this Kroger concoction is a 2011. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's going to do it for the 164 scale cars. Let's move on to... The, oh, I forgot about this one. Wow, almost slipped my attention. Jimmy Johnson from, I don't know what year this was, 2005, I think? 2005? Thanks, Miles. Thank you so much. Oh, I forgot about this one. Richard Petty, this was from his uh, final tour in 1992. That's... A fun one. I picked this up at Bristol a year or two ago. Okay, now I think I've found all my 164 scale cars. There's probably one that literally slipped through a crack somewhere that I cannot find that unfortunately I was not able to show you all, but that's the vast majority, if not all of them, I just showed you guys. I know we've, we've come a long way. Now let's look at my 124 scale car collection. This is what I warned you about at the very beginning. There's a lot of Matt Kenseth in here. Hey, if I'm going to spend 50, 60, 70 plus dollars on a big die cast, it's got to be of a driver that I really like, or at the very least of a paint scheme I really, really like. So uh, <laughs> here they are. These are all of my 124 scale cars. Let me highlight a few of my favorites. First and foremost, the oldest model I own, I guess, is a 2002 Jimmy Spencer car, you may have noticed. Yeah, I don't know why I have a Jimmy Spencer car. I was never a like Jimmy Spencer fan. I bought this car when I was a little kid. I remember exactly where I was when I bought it. I must have just liked it because of the, the paint scheme. I, I like Target. I, I genuinely don't know what my like seven-year-old brain was thinking, but I have a Jimmy Spencer car from, I think the year 2002. I love this Jeff Gordon uh, Looney Tunes car from 2003. Of course, promoting Looney Tunes back in action, a movie that Jeff Gordon and this paint scheme more or less had a cameo appearance in. A fantastic Brendan Fraser 
feature flick filmed at the height of his popularity. Love you, Brendan. <laughs> the race that really got me back into NASCAR for a couple years, I really wasn't watching that closely, but in 2011, Matt Kenseth dominated at Texas Motor Speedway. I was not at that race, but I remember seeing it, and uh, he drove this painting. This is actually a race win version of the car. You got the scuff on the side, and uh, that kind of got me back into NASCAR because I started following basically weekly again at that point. I lucked into finding this one at an antique store last year in the middle of nowhere, West Texas. It's an, an autographed Kevin Harvick rookie scheme. Of course, it's autographed there on the roof. I, I got a tremendous deal on this car. <laughs> I'm not a huge Kevin Harvick fan, but this, of course, is a super memorable paint scheme and uh, from a super memorable season. And the fact that it's signed and everything, I mean, it's that's pretty cool. So I had to add it to my collection. I've got a signed Eric Jones Bush Clash win from 2020. This mess of a race. This is the car that won it, if you can believe it. But it's signed and everything. I always liked Eric Jones since he's started racing in NASCAR. So I've got that. Uh, perhaps my favorite. It probably is between two or three of these, but one of my favorites is Matt Kenseth's 2003 Winston Cup Championship car. It's the Winston Cup Championship Edition signed by Matt Kenseth and Jack Roush. This is fantastic. The cars are super uh, of super high quality. Uh, the roof laps casting up. The cars are super high quality, and it's signed by two of the greats in NASCAR history. One is in the Hall of Fame. One will certainly be in the Hall of Fame fairly soon. That one might be my favorite, but it's tough to beat this one. Matt Kenseth's 2017 Phoenix win diecast. This is one I also got signed. I don't know if you can see it very well. He signed in blue Sharpie, uh, but this one I got Matt Kenseth to sign in person at Slinger Speedway in 2019, and uh, he went on to win that race later in the evening as well. So this car has a lot of really, really good memories for me personally. So it, this one might be my favorite of this collection. It was his final win in the NASCAR Cup Series. And it's one of the few cars on here that I actually got the driver to sign it in person. A few of these, like this 2003 car I just showed you or the Kevin Harvick one I found at an antique store. I was not there when they signed it. They probably signed those cars years ago. So uh, good. anyway, still, it, it's more significant, I think, when you get to meet the driver and get them to sign it in person. So that's pretty cool. But this is it. This is this is my collection. <laughs> I've had this Terry Labonte scheme as long as I can remember. I've always loved it. I mean, got milk on the side. Absolutely fantastic. The only Truck Series 124th diecast I have is this Jordan Anderson one from 2020, Daytona, when he finished a close second to Grant Enfinger. I actually helped him reveal this paint scheme during the week on social media, so it was really cool to see this truck run up front and almost pull off the upset of the season. Uh, so really cool to get this car you know, on display and have this out uh, on my desk wherever I go. So this is the the one and only truck series diecast I have, but it's certainly a favorite as well. Man, I, it's tough to pick like my top five, top 10, but uh, it's definitely between the uh, Circle K and the 2003 championship car for my personal favorites, my number ones. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Wow, we have looked at a lot of diecast cars, a lot of paint schemes here tonight. I gotta decide which of these I wanna put on display here in my new revamped out of the groove studio you guys are gonna hopefully see here fairly soon. Uh, leave your comments down below. Which cars would you like to see on display more frequently? Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know of all the diecast cars we looked at, which ones were your favorite. I appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel. Subscribe if you're new. We talk NASCAR every single day, more or less on this channel, so you're not gonna miss a thing. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video.